now we shall add a Facebook login button which when clicked will take us to the Facebook page. We have already created a Facebook app. Now it's the time to add a Facebook login button. So basically this is our objective. Some sort of Facebook login hyperlink should appear so that when the user clicks it he is taken to the Facebook and the authorization process starts. So we have to do this one in this particular video and we'll add necessary NuGet packages so that the Facebook code can be wired also and we'll write a couple of helper classes to get going for the Facebook login absolutely from scratch. No code pre-written by the Visual Studio entire code totally written by us using the NuGet packages. Let us see how to do that. So at the minimum we have to come to our controllers folder and add a home controller. So that is the minimum that we have to always do. So right click add controller. We'll call it home controller and click add. And also simultaneously let us add an index method index view uh, index view uh, click add so a view will be created for us here we'll type something for the link button at the rate HTML dot action link the link text will be click to login and uh, this will hit the login action which we'll add in a moment. So this is what we have written and let us try to run it to see whether uh, things have started speaking or not. This is what we get. So it means our things are working correctly. This should give error because we haven't yet implemented the login action. Okay, before we proceed further, let us add the necessary NuGet packages. So you'll go to Tools, Library Package Manager, Package Manager, Console. This is what appears. This is a PM prompt that appears here. So we'll have to write install hyphen package followed by dot net open auth and hit enter your internet should be there and uh, installation will start in a moment so this process will take quite some time as you are seeing The process is taking a lot of time and it is likely to take. Patience is required. So the process completes at this point. Now we have added the necessary NuGet packages and let us scroll to the top from where we started. We started here install hyphen package dot net open auth and it has taken a lot of time and completed successfully now it's time to add helper classes before we go on to implement this action called login <laughs> 